Approximately 4.8 million donkeys are slaughtered for their skins every year. Sick or injured donkeys are often tied to posts without food or water and left to die. Donkeys are not a burden. They're a blessing. And they need a blessing right now. As you can see, we love donkeys around here. <laughs> this has become our special project, putting this donkey house together and the fun run and all the other projects on the farm. If you would ask me a year ago, I never would have thought I'd be doing this. And I've never given it any thought. I've never really thought about a donkey before. I mean, not my entire life has gone by and I've never given a donkey a thought, but they're so precious, they're so special. Now that you stop for a moment and you leave the busy life and you just really think about it and you watch them and you, you, your heart just melts. And it just means so much to me and the family to be able to do this. And we just had a donkey well, two donkeys come, Grace and Joy. And the first night, I was able to see Grace fall down and rest and roll and have fun. And when I was watching her, when I was watching her take rest for the first time, it meant a lot to me. It just broke my heart when I first heard her story. And I know how hard it is to go through all those bad experiences and go home to home, farm to farm, and be labeled an outcast and have your child ripped from you and never be able to rest never be able to relax, never be able to feel safe. And for her to come here and just to watch her finally lay down and rest, just, just I'm just speechless. No words can describe. Makes it all worthwhile. Makes it all worthwhile and just, who would have thought years ago I'd be crying over donkeys? <laughs> but we all do, and we all see how special they are. Beautiful, humble creatures. To have a rescue, you would need a safe, dry, peaceful place to house your animals. We decided to turn one of our buildings into a donkey house. We wanted to provide them with a refuge. We also did not want to confine them to a stall. This would take sacrifice and a family effort. Slippery, man. Slippery. Slippery. Yep. Don't try this at home. <laughs> you made it. Make sure you hang a ladder like you're supposed to. All for the donkeys.
lovely rainy day we're having. the fun run so the donkeys could be donkeys so they could have fun so they could forge they could explore have total freedom coming from their prison in a kill pen we thought we would give them a better life a place where they could rest a place that was safe a place where there would be no more abuse a place to call home. Some say I'm crazy for donkey.
So get ready to join me as I dance with danger for the donkeys. You're not gonna give me any more problems, are you? them cowboy this early <laughs> into the project I didn't know I could do the splits I never showed much emotion in my life. And from military to law enforcement to being a tough guy, per se, I will say donkeys will make every tough guy cry. Okay, it's a major snowstorm here at the rescue. Time for feed and water. Wow. All right, I'm having to tote the water all the way through this snowstorm to the back of the property. I don't have a well back there. So we're gonna start with this first one. Someone donated this. Thank you, whoever donated this, because the regular buckets would spill when I walk through this. Oh. I'm gonna have to tote this water through miles and miles of terrain. But first, but first, I'm gonna have to get a bell of hay. Now, the donkey house is not close to my location. But we're going to pull this off because I'm used to doing it. And some would say I am a fool for love. Now, how am I going to do the camera, the water jug, and a bell of hay all the way up there past the house to the back? Let's try it. The camera's probably gonna shake a bit, but <coughs> I don't have a body camera yet. Here we go. <coughs> okay. Got the jug, got the bell of hay. Here we go. Okay. Gotta make sure these boys and girls eat and drink. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, there we are. Okay, too easy, man. You plan on doing this, make sure you stay in shape. Everybody is hiding. No donkeys in sight. <laughs> Good thing for the new roof that was donated. Wow. Hey boys. Hey. Where is everyone? Huh? Oh no, you've been chewing on the siding again. Huh? You hungry? Where is everybody? Here's an awesome light that someone donated to the rescue, which helps them play in the field and come out at night. There they are, you're playing in the snow. You're playing in the snow. Aren't you a little wet, boys and girls? Why are you out playing in the snow? I caught you. Here's the donkeys coming up for feed and water after playing in the snow. Hey, everyone. Are you hungry? Huh? And then there's the long walk that I have to make all the way down here to the donkey house. So now it's freezing rain, which is going to make the snow heavy, and then it's going to freeze and make it hard and impossible because I had to cut costs. I couldn't get a plow for the truck. I have a snow blower. The snow blower stopped working after six uses. Um, and now I have a shovel. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to take a miracle. And the snow plow down on the state highway. Probably has made it about six feet in my driveway. <laughs> so here we go, another adventure at the rescue. No snow blower, no truck plow. Gotta use what you got, baby. Here we go. Okay, pretty much done. I got eight inches off the top. Let's go see what we had to do down here. Huh. Okay, so I hand shoveled about 200 feet. And let's see. Uh, and down here, all the way down here, and then. I drove on top of it too to pack it down again. And all this. And then the four tons of wet plow snow, I got us out enough to the main road to fit the truck through. And I'm parking the truck here, hoping he doesn't dump another six tons in my driveway again. Heart stress test. Wow. <laughs> okay, I got it done. I got the four tons of wet, salted snow from the snow plow out of the driveway, and I have 200 feet of the driveway finished by hand. <laughs> Do 
Disgusting Dave here reporting for duty in 30 miles per hour wind. This is how we all do it at Peace for All Animals. Let's begin. Teddy, you have to let me clean up, okay? You wanna let me clean? That's not food, trust me. Teddy's tired. Are you tired, boy? Huh? It's amazing to me that since the boys have been here, they've been potty trained. They never go in the stove. I wonder if I can train them to use a toilet. Teddy the cowboy wants me to go sift for more gold. It's time to go. Whoa! <sighs> okay, the wind didn't blow me away yet. Job is done. I didn't find any gold. Um, I know what you're thinking at home. You're asking yourself, where did he get those fantastic pants that he's wearing? Well, these are the pants I proposed to Ashley. This is why she married me. Okay, maybe not. I just want to pick them up and put them in my pocket. Very quiet and still. The stars and the little moon sparkled in the sky, and the frost sparkled on the grass. It was a clear night, but it was very cold. 
the old shaggy donkey who lived on the common was limping. He was limping towards a clump of tall, ragged bushes. The morning came that Christmas Eve. The donkey was feeling very lonely. Even the brown cow that lived on the common had been taken back. He was left all alone. The donkey had heard of Christmas. He did not know much about it, but if it was anything to do with hay, he was gonna love it. The donkey said, warm straw and hay? Warm straw and hay? The thought made him feel hungry, and he put his nose down and he muffled, and he blew a sound among the grass to find something to eat, but the grass was frosted. That's it, boys. It's time to go to sleep. Now maybe I can find more than a Christmas book next time to read to you. Prancer. Hey, boy. Hey, you wanna come in here? Huh? What you girls got? Look at the cookies. Do you see you got cookies? Oh, we could be so excited. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much for the gifts. That is so beautiful. joy for a while now and look look how she's just 
not flinging her head. She's not worried. She's very relaxed. This is huge. Huge progress. Oh, I've got a grace. Oh, she's resting her head on me. Oh, hello. Sister getting up. Sister's getting up. She likes it. I don't want to move too much. Good girls. Oh, good girls. Just something so beautiful Her chin a little bit. Oh, she's moving forward. Good enough. Oh, goodness. Wish my husband was here to get a better video of this. She's putting some weight on me. Oh, so precious. Grace is over there munching on some hay. Joy is leaning on my arm right now. Prancer, look, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what advice to give you. I'm lucky I landed the wife that I have. I don't know how I did that. You want me to speak with her? Prancer, come on. Okay, okay, I'll go. Maybe it's time to pray and pray. Prancer really likes joy, Grace. I know you're overprotective. Please, Grace, let me speak of joy, please. On behalf of Prancer. Grace, you have to let her love. Can you please let me in? Okay, thank you. Prancer really likes you. He wants to come see you later, okay? I'm gonna have Mama bring him by. She seems very interested. I know women are intimidating. I, you don't have to tell me. My wife says jump, I jump. She did say that when she first saw you, she got butterflies in her stomach. Just have some confidence. I think it's gonna work out. This time, do not run.
after Joy finished her quarantine, she was able to go back to the donkey house. Prancer and Joy fell in love. Prancer could not control himself as we walked Joy back to the donkey house. And this is what happened. Can you? Hey boy. Come on this way. Come on this way. You ready to play? You ready to play? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you should do a little kick at him. <laughs>
decided that all the donkeys would be happier together. So we moved all the donkeys into the donkey house where they can roll and run and have fun and enjoy their lives.
Thank you, everyone. Good to see you. I'm here. I'm here. I am here. Oh, Teddy boy. You on front row, huh? Are you ready? We're going to read Wonky Donkey's Big Surprise. Dinky woke one weekend with wonder in her eyes. Today her daddy Wonky promised such a big surprise. Look at these pictures, huh? What could it be, she wondered, as she jumped up with a bray. Hey, uh... <laughs> she was feeling so excited on that very special day. She asked her dad to tell her she couldn't stand the stress, but Wonky said he wouldn't, though she could try and guess. Take a seat, said Wonky here on the stable floor. Then he explained that her surprise was behind the big green door. Oh, I love this guessing game. With a smile, Dinky said. What could it be, this big surprise? Many thoughts ran through her head. She knew she'd been a good girl. Well, perhaps more or less. <laughs> she deserved a special present, Ozzy. But first she tried and guess. Oh, isn't she cute, Ozzy? Look. Look at that. Huh? You see the baby donkey? Is it warm, asked Dinky? 
Very warm, said Wonky Donkey. Is it washable? It washes itself. Does it have whiskers? Yes, but we don't mention that. This surprise sounds weird. Yes, but all the good ones are. Is it witty? <laughs> You're laughing, laugh. Does it wiggle? Only when tickled. Is it wise? Very, very wise. Is it wrinkly? Hmm, I've never noticed. Is it wonderful? It's the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Wait, is it whiffy too? <laughs> Sometimes it's even whiffier than your dad. Dinky could wait no longer. She leapt up from the floor. She knew what her surprise was behind that big green door. The story is over here, everyone. <laughs> she knew of only one thing that was wonderful. Wrinkly, wiggly, witty, weird, whiskery, washable, warm, whiffy, and wise. Dinky pulled the door wide open to see Wonky's big surprise. And the warmth flowed through her as she met with familiar eyes. Mommy. It was Mommy, Teddy. I've missed you, Mommy. I've missed you, Mommy. And it's time for bedtime, everyone. Okay, Prancer, it's the new year. It's time for new beginnings. I think we both have put on a few extra pounds this holiday season. And now it's time that we get out. We get active. And we show everyone what we're made of. This time, this time to sweat. 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 One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four. Come on, donkey, you can do it. Don't stop. You can do it. Keep going. Yes, yes. We can do this. We can do this. We can do it, donkey. Yes, yes. To the next tree. To the next tree. Here's the plan, Prancer. We're going to get in shape, because more donkeys are coming. And the winter is going to be brutal. I'm getting tired, Prancer, but I won't give up, because I am the leader. I like this. I like this new workout. What do you call this, the donkey scratch? 